yeah. because, of that, because of this cable here. But for the meantime, I've got those two screws in there, and that was to, to stop it from going all the way back. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Right, Pat's uh, finished basically with the safety door for the um, acid, anodizing acid. So it's a lot safer now. Yeah, solid. Nice one, Pat. Yeah. Right, Pat's done the hatch for the anodizing water tank. So he's put the, drilled it all in. Got the handle here, just an old back. Pretty good. Nice one, Pat. Uh, might be slippery, who knows. Put, put the greaser all over the floor. So, yeah. So beforehand, I don't believe anybody was checking the spam or I wasn't told about it. I was speaking to Max about it now. So um, I've now gone through all the spam, found five emails that should have been read. I've now dealt with the five emails and got rid of the spam. So read all of them and got rid of them. So we now need to make sure that we check the spam daily. It's on my board as well up the top, check spam daily. Um, so that we know to check it because some some of them might slip through the cracks and go in spam. Bought a new dustpan and brush, done a home and also labelled it for the electronics area. So for the LED board Kanban, I've put the low level underneath. So then once we use up whatever is on top, then we flip the Kanban round and then order more. Right, the bins arrived and I've labelled it as well. Start all of my improvements. I've uh, started building the rack uh, for all the bars when they go. So we're going to move all of those uh, against the wall where the hat was. Uh, to start building the rack, and it also doubles as a college uh, apprenticeship project that I could use for it. So we've got the rack. It's getting there. That's where all the kanban bars will go. Uh, we've got some QR codes, and some caps to make it more visual. Uh, next step is to add the legs on, which are over there. And I've got to think of another way to make it stable when it's up on four legs. I might add extra legs to it. I don't know why it took us so long to do it, but I finally rearranged all of these into size order and labelled them. Because they do have them on, they do have their size on them, but over time they can fade. Uh, so for example, this one over here, it's hard to see unless you zoom in. Uh, and one down the bottom, like this one hard to see sometimes they get really close so it's just good to have all the measurements there more visual and keeps it a lot more tidy labeled the bins positions okay just for now i've put the maintenance or nakamura sop there just saying what you got to do when you got to do it when you do do one say if it's daily fortnightly or weekly you got to write the date next to it so you know when to redo it uh it's only on the uh air Drainer for now, but we'll find a better place for it when everything's cleaned up with the wrap in place. But yeah. So, kind of an improvement, kind of not until I tested it a bit more. But I found the old uh, mechanical screwdriver, I don't know what it's actually called. But uh, just testing it on these screws here. It can't untighten them from when it's tight, but the second you loosen them up uh, with the Allen key, it easily comes out using this. It's a lot quicker. Uh, we'll keep it on the, I'll we'll find a place for it for now. I'm going to put it there, uh, see how it goes. If it improves setup times uh, that I can noticeably see, then it could be a thing we'll use in the future and carry on using. This makes it a little bit more easier when taking the screws out. So, yeah. so I've done a reminder for our EORI number when we're sending any packages internationally. A quick improvement, I've moved this holder. Torque crank, I think that's what it's called. Uh, over there. Now it's over here just by the desk, so Max and Jordan haven't got to do a lot of walking about and wasted motion to get it. Now it's actually reachable when you sit down, you can easily grab it and easily put it back. Alright, uh, the plugs were found, but they don't actually have a home, a labelled home. Done a home for the plugs now, so I won't be struggling to find them anymore. So I've glued a single magnet onto the edge of the Kanban box 
So you just need to put the magnet strip on top and then it stays there in place. Where you put the soap in and on the sponge. So when the sponge starts to get dirty enough, you need to change it. You can just peel it off, put another sponge on, and see how it goes. So at the moment, it's a bit of a struggle to find the magnets for to glue onto the Kanban cards. Because it could, it's, there they are, there. But just about get your hand in to grab them. So I'm going to fix that. So I found a really quick way of peeling off the CT1 glue. What you do is get a microfiber cloth and just rub it really hard around the sides and it peels away instantly. Trialing an SOP for cleaning our shoes when exiting and entering the ground floor area. Alright, new uh, air gun installed on the mez floor. So beforehand we done the laser room three times on the back. So now we're trying to do it just once and then we're getting this sort of on the back so we're just going to try that out so i've done another sop this one's returning unwanted items back to the seller right the spillage box has returned for all the hazardous chemicals so before trying to open these drivers up to connect the cables in we had to use a flathead and try and pry it open and a lot of the time it used to get stuck and just took ages and it also bends the plastic but now if you get a like a thick screwdriver or allen key of some sort put it in there in the hole and just press down on the floor it pops straight open so it's much quicker and it doesn't actually cause any cosmetic damage so the extension lead is hanging down so what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw it up to there and put it up there. So it was hanging down there, it's now up here. So I've taken the air gun from the mess floor put it in the powder coat room for Pat so he doesn't have to walk out and then air gun it. Uh, okay so me and Max both worked on this. Uh, Max done the lock-up procedure, then just underneath that, sorry, oh, I've done the morning opening procedure, uh, then this eventually hangs up here on the shutter, then obviously when you close it you can see what you've got to do, and when you shut it up for the night, you're going to put it at the top area here, just so it doesn't get crushed by the shutter when you close it. I've added a pen to the SOP for locking up and opening and I've moved it to here so it's easier to see and actually use. So beforehand the to be washed pile was up here um, so we put it there and then whenever it was done we never really had anywhere to go so now we have this. So now we have a bin for dirty washing, let's go in the washing machine, and then once it's done, we've got a new little thing for the clean washing to go into, so everybody knows what it is, all labelled up as well. So I found out that when we clean out the gun, this is on a timer, so it's not unlimited, it actually has a set time until it completes the cleaning cycle in the gun itself. So instead of having to take apart the gun each time when we switch powders, we just let it run its cycle and it will, it will get rid of all the uh, contaminant from the previous powder. So I'm trying out this way of spraying uh, custom rail halos. So I've got just a metal plate from the soldering area and I've stuck the ground on there and it should work quite well. It looks like it's worked quite well. Um, and I'll probably get a spatula and lift it up like that. It's, it should work. So before the soldering iron cable kept hanging off the table and then knocking the spreaders literally every time so I had to keep picking it up. Uh, so now I've cable tied it shorter so now still 
move the soldering iron easily, but doesn't swing about. 